Hello everyone, I'd like to present our work Deep Hand Mesh. Mano is the most widely used parametric 3D hand model. It produces mesh vertex coordinate from 3D joint rotation and identity parameter. There are three limitations of Mano. First, it requires mesh registration for the full supervision, which means per vertex supervision. Second, its fidelity is low. Third, it cannot replicate physical interaction between hand parts. The mesh registration means aligning a template mesh to a 3D scan in pre-processing stage to prepare ground truth meshes for the full supervision. However, mesh registration often fails because of the complicated hand articulations. Also, registered meshes are topology-dependent data. Therefore, it cannot be used for hand models with different mesh topology. Mano consists of linear models and is optimized with classical optimization framework. Using the framework, it is hard to optimize complicated hand model, which can limit the expressiveness. In addition, it produces low-resolution meshes. Mano does not consider physical interaction between hand parts. It can produce implausible hands such as penetration. To resolve those issues, we propose deep hand mesh. Our deep hand mesh is trained weekly supervised way, therefore does not require mesh registration. Second, its fidelity is high. Third, it can replicate physical interaction between hand parts. We use weak supervision such as 3D joint coordinates and multiple depth maps instead of full supervisions with registered meshes. Therefore, deep hand mesh does not require mesh registration. The weak supervisions are easier to obtain than registered meshes and mesh topology independent data. Our deep hand mesh consists of many nonlinear modules and is optimized with recent deep optimization technique. It is highly robust to local optima, which can be helpful for the complicated optimization of high quality hand model. In addition, it produces high resolution meshes. Deep hand mesh can replicate physical interaction between hand parts such as penetration. It further improves the quality of the hand model. This shows overall pipeline of deep hand mesh. The encoder takes the input image and output hand pose vector. The encoder refines hand model and deforms mesh with the LBS. The encoder consists of ResNet and two fully connected layers. From a single RGB image, it outputs the hand pose vector, which is all the angle for each enabled degree of freedom. Among 3J degree of freedoms, we enable 28 degree of freedoms based on the anatomical structure of human hand. We assume a personalized environment in which the training and testing subject is identical. ID vector is randomly initialized with Gaussian vector and is fixed during training and testing for each subject. Note that we do not require personalized initial hand mesh but personalizes an initial hand mesh to each training subject. There are three types of correctives, ID-dependent skeleton corrective, ID-dependent vertex corrective, and post-dependent vertex corrective. The estimated correctives are added to the initial hand model. We use linear blend skinning to deform zero-pose hand mesh using the pose vector. For each mesh vertex, it linearly aggregates SCA3 transformations of the hand joints. This figure shows the effect of correctives. ID-dependent skeleton corrective personalizes 3D hand joint coordinates. ID dependent vertex corrective personalizes hand mesh vertex. Finally, pose dependent vertex corrective replicate local geometry deformation according to the pose. We divide physical interaction between hand parts in two cases. First, between rigid parts. Second, between rigid and non-rigid parts. We generate spheres inside of fingers. To avoid collision between fingers, we enforce distance between spheres to be longer than sum of radius. To avoid collision between fingertip and palm, we calculate distance between sphere and palm. If the distance is shorter than radius, it is considered as a penetrating sphere. For all penetrating spheres, we enforce distance to be same with the radius. Our dependent mesh is trained in an end-to-end -end manner, using 3D joint coordinates and multiple depth maps, and penetration avoidance loss and Laplacian loss. We construct a multiview studio for the data capture. There are 80 synchronized cameras with 4K resolution with 90 frames per sec. We capture four subjects and render depth map from 3D reconstruction. Machine 3D hand joint coordinate annotator like Interhand 2.6M is used. This figure shows the effect of identity dependent correctives. It successfully personalizes initial hand model to each subject. This shows the effect of post dependent correctives. It successfully replicates post dependent local hand geometry deformation. Our newly designed penetration avoidance loss enables replication of the physical interaction between hand parts. Our deep hand mesh produces much more realistic hand meshes than Mano. Our deep hand mesh can be used for 3D hand mesh estimation from in the wild images. First, we train deep hand mesh. Second, we train a new regressor with the fixed decoder of deep hand mesh using 3D and joint coordinate loss. The figure shows that our deep hand mesh can be used on in the wild images. Our deep hand mesh assumes personalized environment in which training and testing subjects are identical. Learning hand identity space by only using weak supervisions is quite challenging. The future work should consider cross identity, high fidelity hand mesh modeling. This is summary of deep hand mesh. Our deep hand mesh is trained a weekly supervised way without mesh registration.
it produces high fidelity meshes. Finally, it can replicate physical interaction between handparts. Thank you for listening.